the first properly licensed image generator that enables artists to own their style. This is the tagline of this website called Guest.Design. The way it works is that after signing in, I'm going to use my Google account for signing. We come to this page and here is a menu. And down here, we can see an option called for artists. If we go here, an artist can upload their illustrations and create a new model. Artists can verify this model, which will mean that these models will be discoverable on Design, and creators can use that model to generate images. But that's not all. Artists can also keep these models unlisted or private to use for their own projects, kind of like an AI-powered template generators for their own illustration. Let's go back by clicking return to text. And after that, a creator can subscribe to one of this dot designs subscription plans and then use one of these models by artists to generate an image. The payment is split 50-50 between the platform and the artist. And here are some of the artists that have contributed their artwork to creating models in test.design. They're featured in the landing page of test.design website. This is an image that I had generated as a test. And this is the same image after some tweaking and removing the background. Now, this brings me to the only strange thing about this whole process, which is the pricing plan. If you go to this upgrade button, we can see that there are four plans, Starter Pro, Premium, and Enterprise. But the thing is that we'll get a commercial license, as in you can use the images that we generate commercially only from the Pro plan, Premium plan, or the Enterprise plan. And as you can see, the premium plan is $80 per month. When I compare them with other AI image generators, this is a very high price. I am an avid Leonardo.ai user, and we can even use the three generations of Leonardo.ai for commercial purposes. And after we have generated some profit, we can use that to pay Leonardo.ai. My only hope is that more artists find out about this platform and join. So slowly, the subscriber of the starter plans can also use our generations commercially. Other than the commercial licenses, the other difference is the number of generations per month. The starter plan gets 50 generations per month, pro 200. And from print premium, there is 600 generations per month. And the enterprise plan is up to negotiation. I have exchanged some emails with the team of test.design and they have provided me with some contact email that are linked in the description below. If you are an artist or a creator, please consider visiting them. This is a good time to say that the platform is so new that they do not have an affiliate program yet. Now let's see what can we exactly do with this model. So as I have browsed this website for a while, I have found that this website can do everything except for making videos, as in text to video or image to video. Other than videos, it can do absolutely everything else. So let's go to create an illustration. And this is a good time to say that test of design has some public models that you can use to test out what this platform can do. And they are free. I'm going to use this model, demonstrate the main things that test.design can do. So the very first thing we'll see after we enter into the model is to how to give attribution and what is the license. Here is the license agreement and here is how to attribute an image that was created on this. First, we write image by name of the model on this. And the name of the model in this is recommended that they are linked to the particular model and the website perspective. This also helps increase visibility for the artist's work. From here, we're going to click generate with this model. 
And here are the options that we get. The prompt is for text to image generation. This is for image to image generation. Here's an article, which is an interesting one. You can paste an article here. The test design platform will extract meaning from that article and turn that into a image, which you can use for our blog post. And I have to say, since the model here are created by the artists themselves, proper permissions. So we will have no copyright issues when using the models for commercial purposes. There are no gray areas here. The only thing that we can talk about is that the model that is being used is stable diffusion. If there is a question that the stable diffusion models are not trained with the artist's permission, then how is the copyright issue being handled then? The answer is because the, the models that are used by test or design have approval of the artists themselves to be used in this platform. In essence, test or design is like an AI powered stock image site, like Envato Element or Storyblocks. Now, here's an idea where if we just have a vague idea in our mind and not a fully formed prompt, then we can use this and it will make us a prompt from our idea. And here's a logo designer. So let's tie this. This is a young woman walking on the beach. I had made this before. Let's try another one. We can choose the ratio of the image, a square image for Instagram, 16 by nine is for YouTube. Others can be portrait or classic television size. And I actually don't know what this is used for. So I'm just going to choose wide and style strength will determine how much of the generation is influenced by the artist's art style. And the default is 80%. I have made it around almost 70%. I'm going to keep the complexity high because in my appearance, this creates a better result. I'm going to hit generate now. This is going to take a while to generate. And uh, here are the pictures that has been created by this design. Here is the first one. There, there are two girls instead of one in this image. This one has one girl. The next ones are much more consistent. From here, we can further manipulate our image. But we have to understand that all these tools are paid tools. We cannot use them without subscribing to one of the subscription tiers of test or design. In the future, I plan on making a more detailed video on the capabilities of test or design. The one thing I'm missing is an option to decrease the amount of images that are created at once. If I just want one or two images to be generated instead of four every time. Here we can go to the public models again and keep making more images. I'd like to mention a peculiarity of this platform though, because this platform has wonderful blogs about how to use the platform. Also latest news on the laws surrounding generative AI. But after I have signed into this platform, I cannot find a way to navigate to that blog section. All I could do was go up to the search bar here and type in blog. And that is how I went to the blog. This is the landing page of the website. We can see this before we have signed into the website. And here is the blog portion. And here are many informative articles about the use of generative AI for commercial purposes. And also instruction on use of this test design platform. I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a good day. See you soon.